If you like these tutorials, check out Next Level Painting on Patreon. Become a patron of the arts today. We offer early and exclusive access to our videos and a rewards program for different pledge levels. Patreon is PayPal and credit card secure, so you don't have to worry about that. We use 100% of the money to improve our process. Yo, dog, Kenny Bechet here. Next Level Painting, hitting you up on the literal best of all days on this glorious Friday morning in sunny California and the Beat Slab in Hollywood. First off, it's been a long time. Shouldn't have left you without a dope beat to step to, AKA we're painting green today. Next Level Painting has a natural affinity for green. We love green, we love color combinations with green, purples, pinks, everything. We're gonna be breaking down the Next Level Painting ancient Chinese technique of painting green using our Power 3, using our Eosin green, our Necrotite green, and our Flash Gids yellow. We're gonna show you all that. It's gonna be five hacks. We're gonna be hacking green today with five simple tricks. Super easy. I wanna thank you guys for checking out these videos and supporting me on Patreon. I know I say it every week, but it matters. We don't do it for money, but it does take money to do this. And the money that you guys have been pledging my way has been huge, helping me keep the lights on, helping me upgrade the editing software, the microphones, everything man it is literally 100 percent poured back into the overall quality of this i am still excited to be talking about twitch the twitch live stream has been popping off we do that every week tuesdays 9 p.m pacific 6 p.m eastern we spend an entire hour in an interactive q a environment working on whatever's on my table i try to cover real broad topics there and i try to cover real specialized topics here on the studio tutorials we also offer new rewards and swag opportunities in exchange for people's pledges and support and donations. I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I also want to do a quick shout out. I want to shout out my boy Adam, Donovan, Terrell, my boy Michael, obviously Jason. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. You've been holding it down on Patreon. The support matters. Anyway. Check out the longword.net, the fastest growing library in video content about miniature wargaming and hobbying in all aspects. Without further ado, let's jump into this video. Let's do this thing. Five simple hacks to painting green. As you can see right here, these are the new fresh jade palace bases that we're working toward. And you can see, here's what we're working with. One simple 40 millimeter base. Now let's go real quick over the top five. Uh, tip one, get your primer game on lock. Tip two, get these paints. Tip three, get your airbrush game. I recommend the Awada Eclipse. Tip four, Vallejo Air Flow Improver. And tip five, the Gangsta Gumbo. Now we've got entire videos on how to do this, so I'm just gonna brief you. Pour a little flow improver in there. Pour your color directly into the pot. Just a little bit. Stir it up with a go-to trusty paintbrush that you got laying around for this purpose. Put a little bit more water in there if you need to, but then backflow it. This is my backflow technique for really mixing it up. And you can get a lot of work done really fast with this technique. Now I do want to remind you that we do have an entire video on airbrush maintenance and cheat codes and hacks to the airbrush. Definitely check those out. Step one, let's do this thing. Let's paint this base. Now we have that Iosin green in that pot. We're just mixing that Iosin green in, directly blending it with the primer. That dark angel green knockoff that uh, good old army painter makes. Look at it, it literally blends right in. Nothing, is. <laughs> there's no in-between color. This also is a really dark base green, so we're able to kind of really create that electric, like glowing green effect. And you're gonna wanna go hard on an edge and then subtly streak that green into the darkness. That's how you create that kind of glowing, you know, like really mysterious base effect that kind of eludes people. And I just kind of like follow the lines. I'm real organic here. There's no taping. I'm just letting it, you know, just improv you know, just freestyling, dropping this beat as it were. Now this is definitely like, you know, not as advanced as a lot of people think it is. This technique relies heavily on the paintbrush game of doing the edge highlights after you're done 
with all this airbrushing. The airbrushing is the easy part, it doesn't take very long at all. We're establishing a really nice transition. You want to make sure your transition stays strong. You want to keep that flow improver and that water mix just right. Like it's, it's a lot of water and a lot of flow improver to paint ratio. And as usual, we're coming in mainly air on the double action and very little paint. We're just about done laying down that first color, that IOS in green. And we're going to transition, obviously, into our next color, the cycle. We're going to use that necker tight green, as you can see right here. You don't need to clean the pot out too much. Just clean it out a little bit, pour your necker tight green right in, and kind of repeat the step uh, that you just did with the IOS in green, but be a little bit more subtle. Focus more on like the, the edges, like where you want that color to pop. That's kind of where you want to centralize this effect, this brighter necrotite green. And that's the amazing thing about these P3 colors is they work together. Like there's not a lot of paint companies that just are like this color plus this color, fucking legit. Now, you know, some paint companies do, but I haven't found one that does it quite as good as P3. And they're surprisingly good airbrush paints. Like they're not airbrush paints, you know, obviously they're real thick, but they have like a real thick pigment ratio and they're not over the top like thick. Uh, like as far as chunky like consistency, they break down into an airbrushable paint very easily. I mean, I honestly like airbrushing them more than I like paintbrushing them, which is crazy, right? So as you build up that bright almost OSL effect there on the edges and the tips, you see it coming together. Now you can see the mysterious glow of that of that necrotite green. Now we're gonna move into the home stretch here. Where we're gonna really pop it out. Grab that flash gets yellow. Go in there with that necrotite green. I'm gonna say two parts yellow, one part necrotite green, and subtly pop that final highlight out on those edges. Real subtle. Now, I like to start off with the mix this way, and you know, and if it's if it's not popping enough, just come back in for a second pass after it all dries. You do wanna make sure there is no speckling. Always keep the tip clean. If you get any dried bits of paint on the tip, it'll start speckling. That is not what you want. So I'm periodically going to clear the tip right here to, to test it out. Make sure that it's not speckling. Right here, you can see there's some kind of chunk in there. I don't want that. So now I'm going to kind of carry that over to the base after I've kind of cleared it out. And I'm just going to do that final little pass. I'm making sure no speckles are flying out of the airbrush onto the beautiful transitions of the base. I mean, this base is perfect. There's no grit grainy you know transitions it is so perfect you don't want to mess it up i mean there it is it's got that glow effect now obviously the way you really like bring this transition home is with the the paintbrush technique as you can see here we went in with the edge highlighting technique if you as you've seen in many videos and we just you know chopped up those edges made them look super fresh check out the longboard.net become a member of the hall of veterans today for the fastest growing library of war game related video content, modeling, painting, and playing, not to mention all the SIG discounts I receive from some of our sponsors. TheLongWord.net is committed to bringing hobby back. We can't do it without you.